Alright, my man. State your name and let them know you on Real Talk with Nick. You already know the vibes. You already know the time. It's G5, Five. y'all, on Real Talk with Nick, man. What's good, y'all? It's been a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? I have a scene my the OG. What up, people? You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no coffee. Yeah, I, and I ain't got no coffee. So it's, it's a fair exchange out here, y'all. You feel me? And we gonna talk next. Uh, my boy G Five, he's a little upset over the few postings that's been uh, oh, yeah, uploaded. Definitely. Definitely. He don't like this talk about RJ Barrett being traded. No. But I don't think he understand that other teams, like the uh, Brooklyn Nets, is looking in on the kid, man. It doesn't matter. Brooklyn Nets ain't gonna get him. We're not trading with Brooklyn. Brooklyn ain't got nothing the Knicks want. Nothing at all. Okay. We can, they can keep that over there. Okay. RJ ain't what we need to get rid of. Okay. And we definitely don't need to get rid of that other guy. You know? So I ain't going to mention his name. I'm going to let you mention it, and then I'm going to go all in okay. and tear that That's shit up. That's the only one that would be worth trading because he's the oldest one on the team. And since the team is, like, getting brand new, you might as well get rid of some of the old, the okay. old work. So, Just like if we trade for... For a couple of players, see the Knicks got leverage right now. The best leverage in the NBA when it comes to trade talk. Come to trade talk, yes, but they're not making over, the right we got moves, 12 man. Twelve draft picks, and we got players that everybody wants. From quickly, Barrett, Julius, Mitch Robinson. I can keep going. So we got the best leverage. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to start if right. Center comes available. From like the 76ers, and he said, I want out. He's where he's going to New York Knicks. Okay, I want to start here with RJ. What's up, RJ with Barrett, yeah. something is on a chopping block to be traded. And then they'd be a stupid move. Stupid move. He's the number one, he's the number one player on the on the Canada team right now. Okay. You say he's the number one Number one player. player on the Canada team right now. He's scoring more than Kid Gilders. Do you live in Canada? It don't matter where you live at. We talking basketball. See, you worrying about what country it is. But he's, playing, a sense, he's playing against the same people that America is playing against. So it doesn't, it, that, it's basketball. At the end of the day, it's just basketball. Okay. We get to see him on another team and see what he do. What he's doing is dominating. Regardless of how we look at it, he's dominating. If y'all think trading him in his prime right now, and this is his prime year, and you can see it by the way he's balling, even though we can't see the games because they're like 2, 3 in the morning, but you watch the playbacks, you get to see it. You'll see what I'm talking about. He's looking better out there than Kid Gildress. And Kid Gildress is one of the best players in the NBA that's ranked on the top 15. So if he's playing better than him, then you got our mans over there, Hart and what's his name? JB, come on, you tell me what we're going to do next. Let me ask you this, brother. My Nickavellians want to see R.J. Barrett ball out in a Nick jersey. It doesn't matter. We don't care jersey. about him. Yeah. Come on, man. That's if going you're back to. in the summer, meaning that you want beast mode, because I'm getting to play for the summer, then I go straight into training camp right after. The Knicks got the best chance because we got three players in the Olympics that's in the Olympic teams playing in the Olympics. And these three players is going to get their game better by the time it comes to, to game. If you got to understand the transition, you thinking about you thinking about everything, you're thinking about the package. RJ's not just one, he's just one part of this new dynasty. He's just one part. Let one me answer this. By watching the way RJ Barrett has been playing on Canada, right? And we got a backup for him already. The white boy we just picked up. Who, why you think we picked him up for? You think he's going to um, compliment RJ's game? He could compliment him with Hart. Why you think them two's there? This is the complimentary. This is the, we got a good five. Now we need a good back, a good second unit. So the second unit looking, could probably beat the first unit. So if they giving them a, a win on the first unit, meaning our second unit to help us win more games. So the second round won't be so hard because everybody would be, more rested, got more players to sit there that comes off the bench and actually gonna do something. We had players, but only certain players was out there doing something in that second unit. That's why Obi had to go. Y'all didn't understand that because when it came to the second unit, Obi supposed to have took over and dominated the game every game. 
He right. didn't dominate at all. Quickly dominated more than Toppins. When it came to the second unit. You, you need a second I don't unit think it was a, a conflict of interest when it came to uh, man, you quickly and Julius Rand. See, it was a conflict of interest between Obi. It wasn't. It, and Julius Rand. You the first power forward to come behind the starting power forward, regardless of what you getting twenty to twenty five minutes. The more you score, the more productive you play. The more they're gonna cut his time. But if you're not performing, I'm not gonna cut his time, and you're not performing. If I give you 20 minutes and you can't drop buckets in that 20 minutes and you ask any NBA player that, and then you got a role you got to play. So it's like at the end of the day, like I'm saying, it's better he went over there. Just like with Jordan Poole going to Washington. It's just better. They get to get Now he get to get his life. Now, if he's going to be a star, like I told you, if he's going to be a star, we'll see him shine this year over there. But if it's the same old person, you're going to see he. Listen, I'm going to tell you what hurts with a lot of Knicks fans. When we speak of that of Obi, right? Is that. He didn't produce. No, he did produce. He Man. was given an opportunity to produce. And the man shows his fucking true colors when your boy Julius Randle got hurt with his ankle. He now, before. Wait, wait, wait. It's one game. And that's what we're talking about. That's not consistent. How can he become consistent? By by doing it, when he gets off the when he came in, just like let's let's take a, a player that's perfect example. I'm gonna give you the perfect example: Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas was the only player that came off the bench, was the 15th player, and ended up being a fucking superstar because he put his mind to being a superstar. If he wanted it, he would have went out there and got it. He wouldn't have been up there acting like he's the thug, want to beef with the coach, and want to make himself a problem. Who you talking about, Julius Randle? No. But that's the Julius Randle handbook. Was but Obi Julius reading Randall. the Julius Randle handbook? That's not Julius Randle handbook. Julius Randle just did what he had to do to Tibbs. You don't know how much Tibbs is. But do you see it affect him? No. no well, I can't affect him because he's the man in New York. So, therefore, the upper office could tell him, nigga, you just a coach. You just a coach. This is what I paid for. You got to understand that part too, brother. Listen. When I'm in, when, when, when I'm in heat with the owners and I'm good with the owners, Anything can happen, and the Knicks always got one player that's perfect with the owners. Now we might get rid of him this year because he's injured. Let me give you a slice so, of my pizza so you can see what's on my topic. But we'll we speaking that of Obi, all right? Uh, my go. man did his yeah. thing when yeah. Julius Randle got yeah. hurt. Oh, wait, 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 don't cut me off. Don't cut no, me off. Listen, listen, point. listen. Wow. And that's what the fight was about. That's why Obi wanted to go upside Tom Dibbito's head because Obi wasn't done putting in work. And then you let this happen. You let this limping on one leg Julius Randle, we go. overrated. Overrated, but he's dropped the twenty. Only doing, only doing, only well, doing a regular stop, season. Stop, like my man Predator said, yeah, he said needs that. a hypnotist so he could think that the postseason is still I'm the regular injured. season. If I'm injured by the postseason, you making it seem like eighty-two games is so simple. Like, yeah, just go. I want to see half of these niggas that talk it go out there and play eighty-two fucking games, and you being the motherfucking main one taking the body to bump for the game. Julius Randle ain't no sit out there and shoot threes like Stephen no more day. Nigga, he's in there body, using his body. Nigga, of course he's going to be injured. The best players get injured, bro. Listen, he was he injured got... when he wanted to come back and play against Jimmy Butler. He should have sat his ass no, out. Wow. He should have sat his wow. ass out. Wow. Wow. Because what you mean? Because they said know. after the I, service was over, about me and you can't talk at the same time. So I'm going to have to let you I'll get let your... You know. From the last time, the same reason why he played that game. I am the star of the team. It's my response. At the end of the day, regardless of what, I'm still going to get blamed for it. So I might as well go out there and just hurt myself more. Because regardless of what, I'm still going to get blamed for it. If, oh, Julius Randle didn't play. He's avoiding Butler. The Knicks lost because Julius Randle didn't play. Or it didn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it's, it's, it comes with it. We the New York Knicks, nigga, it comes with it. Listen, man, you saw You've me. been in school before, right? Man, listen, man. If your teacher is out, don't you get a substitute? It doesn't matter. Okay. Now. OB wasn't <sighs> performing. Don't you get it? Like, no, man, I don't get it. How? What, I don't get what it. What did you see that I didn't I never don't see? get it. And you can, and in the comments, I don't tell get it. the same thing. I see OB opportunities go. opportunities to do it. If you got 25 minutes a game and you can't 
put in buckets in 25 minutes and you out there for 25 minutes and Julius is nowhere on the court. So you can't blame Julius for what you produce. Don't do that. It's your talent. You got you to the NBA. Julius didn't get him to the NBA. Don't put what Julius, why they played Julius over him. Why? Because Julius is more, is more what? That means he's more consistent. So, of course, you want to play the one that's going to get you a guarantee 25 and 10. It doesn't matter. You ain't got it yet, nigga. I gave you two years. You ain't got it. This is the NBA, niggas. It's the NBA. If you don't got it by now, if you ain't catch up with the speed of the game, I'm sorry, but you're getting lost in the back. You hear the players that played in the NBA now on their podcast say the same damn thing. By th by year three, if you ain't got it, you're going to get lost in the system, bro. And that's just what happened with Obi Toppin. Okay. When the Indiana Pacers play the New York Knicks, I pray to God, that Obi dogs the shit out of Julius Randle, but I want the Knicks to win. Now, if Julius so, dropped 40 on him, then what you going to say? I'm going to say that's what he do. And what, no, 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 no. Every if regular he, season. If, if he Every dropped, regular right, see, season. So now you're not going to give him Every the regular and season. Said, if he could bust his ass. Now, no, no, you're not being fair with ass. that, no, with that analytics. And I'm going to tell you why you're not being fair. If he busts the top of that, then you're going to see why listen, you behind me listen, and never in front of me. Listen, you sound you, crazy. You, you, you crazy. I'm going to tell you. What's on my not, slice of I, pizza? I'm telling you. And what kind of topping I'm, I'm using? I'm telling you. When we speak of that Obi, when the, the Indiana places one -on -one plays, Julius so he, he's scared. Ass, he's scared. Bro, I'm to, telling you, bro. he's scared for niggas. He's nervous I, no, right you now. Nerv you, you nervous you. right now? You really think and you I'm telling you. Yo, all you gotta do is get that fast break. Him and a, uh, what? That's all he could. Wait, what he's gonna do that the whole game? He's gonna dunk. Fast break. All he's gonna do is dunk. How do you sound? That's what I'm talking about. I See, feel like that's all he is. A dunk. You just proved my point. No. Give him the fast break. What the fuck is a one-on-one -on -one giving you the fast break? What is it? I said one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way in the world on a basketball court he's beating Julius Randle one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way. Julius got too much moves, too much fundamentals, too much footwork for him to do that. It's just common. You can look at the game and see the difference. That boy want to run and dunk. And shoot threes. And shoot threes that he can't barely make. He only making two out of six. At least Julius is making four out of eight. Oh, wow. What a big leap. It's a big difference. What a big leap. Four out of eight. It's 50% going to 32%. Listen. The reason why Obi Toppin is an I'm Indiana Pacer. And numbers. The reason why the reason why Obi mm -hmm. is an Indiana Pacer is because of conflict of interest. And I think it's deja vu again when we speak of that of Josh Hart and your boy and man you quickly. I don't understand how you pay Josh Hart uh -huh. before you pay a man you quickly. Easy. And man you quickly been on the squad longer, putting in work, you, putting bro. in pain. And, I'm gonna and this why. is the bullshit the Knicks front office do. And I'm gonna tell now, you just because George yeah, Hart, said, just because George Hart came here, he didn't even do a full season yet I'm with the Knicks. He ain't even do a full season here. I'm about to cook. Ain't even do. Is he adopted by the Bronson family? What the fuck is going on? Where this man can get paid before a man you quickly, and then fans like you want to sit back and not understand why players like a man quickly saying could possibly say i want to walk let him walk let him walk you still got to play this year though you want the money prove it this is your prove it year you want them big money prove it that's all it is that's all understand the nba like that's what it is you got to understand the nba if you understand the nba you understand what's going on with the manual quickly this is it you got to prove it yeah i'm gonna make you play your best basketball this year because now you're gonna want a max contract and only way you're gonna get it if you show me you worth the money or yeah. else you could get ahead and go and see what else off offers you get when you're a free agent next year how long josh hard been in it it does six months. Six months. And you know why he. Hey, 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 you gonna give this man and we gonna give a, him a contract before yes. you give a man yes. you quickly. Yes. And how long man quickly been yes. in with the Knicks? Yes. How long he been? Since his rookie year. And how long is that? He's like four, five, contract, five, so it doesn't even matter. Five years now? No, nah, hell no. Well, four. This is his fourth season. Okay. You're gonna shit on a fourth year yes. player? Yes. For a six months player? Yes. Yeah, here, there's coffee right there. They sell that shit right there. Yes. Y 
You see what it says grocery? You know, let me let me zoom this what shit. What I'm trying in. to tell you is, but you don't. Zoom it in right there. What right you there. Don't get is what I'm trying to tell you. Get yourself is, some coffee, my it's man. It's the game. It's not that. It's the NBA. Josh Hart proved to the Knicks. I come here. I'm gonna show you what I can do. I trade here. Only way I'm gonna sign an extension with y'all if it's worth me signing an extension. At first he denied it. Then they came back to him. They came back to him right. Because he knows what he could bring to the table. He proved it. You speaking that of who? The, we know Hart. He proved what he, what he gonna bring to the Knicks. He's gonna bring to the Knicks the same thing what a what what Green brings to the Warriors. That's what that's that's what he's gonna bring. That's what he's How gonna bring. How much they bring. pay Josh Hart? Like 18 million a year, some shit like that? For like what 80? We got 80 something million for four years? What's that? 80 20 something million a year? And what's uh what man you quickly got? What do you got? Make it 16. Now hold that thought. So, so no no hold this that is the... no, hold the thought. Okay. You hold the thought. Okay. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. The man you quickly want a hundred and better, right? If the Knicks don't feel like he can get a hundred and better, let him go out there and show he's gonna make his hundred and better. This is the best opportunity for him. Cause now he get to pick where he wants to play. And I'd rather quickly get the opportunity to pick where he wants to play. See, I'm not thinking about, you're thinking about the Knicks. I'm thinking about the player. As a man, let him pick where he wants to play. Don't give me the extension. Let me just play ball. I'm gonna prove myself this year. Make him play his best basketball. Now, when we on that playoff run, quickly is gonna show other teams, cause I'm not signing with the Knicks. Let me get that. Then he get to pick where he wants to go. So if he want to go to the Lakers, if he want to go home, if he want whatever team he want to go to, he has the opportunity. But Nick to. fans who want to chip and want to see a rebuild and want to see some establishment, and, and, and what you don't you want quickly is, to remain in Nick. Understand is when they do do that with quickly, he's still on a Nick's rookie contract. So which means is if he goes to any other team. The Knicks has the right to match whatever offer that's on the table. And he can't go nowhere else. He stays in the Knicks because they got the opportunity to match it. So let this boy go out there and bowl and get that money. He might be able to get $175 million. We never know. Okay. Now you understand what I'm trying to say? It's, it's, it's NBA politics. politics. Bullshit it's politics. Not, it's, not, it's not bullshit. Let this boy make his money. Like, he's going to... Ball hard, get all the way this money, and they're gonna be like, okay, we was offering him ninety. He wants over one hundred million. Damn. Well, we got this team offering him one seventy five. Now, if he go there, we can actually match the one seventy five, knowing that he's gonna be worth the one seventy five. Let me break some shit down. You they think they not paying him for what he did already for the Knicks? Cause he didn't. I, I got a few questions for you. <laughs> Do you think Knicks fans really give a fuck? What RJ's doing in the Canada jersey, man? I'm trying to tell yes you. Yes or no, man? It doesn't. This is not a... Uh, uh, yes or no? I'm not saying I'm not saying nothing. Yes or no? you learn about what it is about... Listen, uh, I'm trying to have an interview with you. But you're saying... And, 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 and like you said, it. politics. This is that's the politics, politics of being on Real Talk with Nick. That's not I politics. throw the questions to you. You answer and the I, fucking questions to the best already, of your ability. It doesn't matter. See, y'all learn about... You worrying about? Don't say your Nickavellians. Don't say your Nickavellians. Don't say none of that. Say you, because you can't speak for what your fans is gonna say. Because at the end of the day, if you basketball, you watching the basketball analytics, everything about the basketball. Like this is going on. All right, this is the only games playing right now. Right, we the only things going. So you got America. You got players from over here. You got the youngest players over here in Canada. Some of the best ball players on. Our lead is in Canada. The, the champion, you got Kit Kildress, you got a lot of players that's top players in the lead that's in the top 25 at least is on Canada. So we got to look at from Canada to America. Our, we got one player on Canada, one. That's RJ. And out of all those players that's there that he's playing with, he's the number one scorer. He just... The same team, the same team that Bronson dropped thirty on, is the same team RJ dropped thirty on. So that's what I'm trying to say. If Bronson just dropped thirty on him, then RJ come the next day and he drops thirty three on him. That tells you there's a different level of balling going on right now. So you telling me 
and Josh Hart is balling. You're telling me that and, when, and, 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 and Bronson, if we're being truthful, is the number one player right now in the USA team. Why he's not selected? Why he's not an All Star? Why he's not one of the elite players right now that the NBA is talking about? Why not? He should have been an All Star. Uh, but he should have yeah. be more than an All Star. He's with the Jimmy Butlers. He's supposed to be named, mentioned like them because he's that good. And it's proven on this all It's showing this right now on the USA team. He's the number one player on the USA team. I mean, let me answer like this, brother. How do you feel about the front office? You think the Knicks organization is doing the right thing? You, are you pleased? Why? Because Cause you sound yeah, like you. there's not a problem. There's not a problem. Because what, we being quiet? We not letting everything jump? We not going to pay? You want them to pay him, right? But what if we get the opportunity that we be able to grab one of these other superstars from that's about to be available? So that's what the Knicks is thinking about. Another superstar to get with the superstars that we got. So we got to have leverage. As a as an organization, you got to have leverage. The old Knicks, they would have been went dumb and went stupid and did stupid moves already. We the Lord, you know, we won't have the draft picks. We won't have the cap. We won't have nothing. What's we got more leverage? What's more uh, important to you, right? A big name on other team. Or a player that you know what you got and, and the chemistry that he sets forth. How important is the chemistry, man? It ain't about the chemistry, it's about the player. Now, if I could get. Because uh, 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 you know, all right, I'm, I'm a. All right, not, not, if, prime if, example, everybody wanted uh, John Moran to come to the Knicks, right? As I've drafted? Yeah. At one point, well, come on now, nobody didn't want RJ, he was hearing, yo, John Moran, John Moran. I was hearing but, Zion Williams, John Moran. One play with guns, the other one like the fuck bitches and, 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 and eat off the... got to do with anything? Yo, they not basketball minded. They not focused on the game. RJ is the most focused out the out the three when we speak of the, Zion not. Williams, when we speak of John Moran, and we speak of Barrett himself. I give RJ that. Is he the nicest out the, out the three? Chemistry. You want a player that's going to think Nah. Oh my God. Nah. You want that star player, bro? I'm sorry. Bro. All right. You talking about star player, but is he a headache? Is he a cancer in the locker room? Hey, who? What star players right now is cancer in the locker room? I'm talking about the ones that we could get right now. If we really think the 76 is looking like they breaking down, if we really think that he's gonna stay there and Harden's going and trying to get out, we got to look at what's playing. We got Dame that's available trying to get to Miami. There's no way that's happening. This, this, you got, you got the Clippers that don't want the they star two players no more on a low. They already tried to push us, push us with fucking C, G, uh, PG. What you thought about that? When I told you about it, okay. And then you seen it come live today. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, through. okay, okay. And I told you that before, and even thought of it coming, right? Okay, yes, yes. I, so I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you. All right. It's the analytics. So you telling me? Stupid. That R.J. Barrett is going to have a stupid year. Yes. This upcoming yes. season. Yes. All because he's had you've seen solid, him see, score look, 33 points. Because he's had a solid career. But what, to me, he's been solid every year. He does what what he, his role is doing and got it. He's dropping his 20, 19, 20 in games. That's good. 25 from what's his name? 2019 from you then now we got the number 25 over here then we got a 15 here then we got a 10 here then we got a seven here what the, that's over 120 points now all we got to do is play defense and win and we got the players now to play the defense and win we now need we rj barrett listen what you need rj to do what what you really think rj can do when you got all these stars that that demands the ball around them listen this is like a deja vu of frank nilakina Story when Frank Nilakina was playing for his country, but, but and then he gets on. No, we not. But I'm trying to make an. an, an he, he was a trash when he played for his country too, though. No, but everybody was no, saying. No, he was trash. Look what it, he he was trash. He wasn't doing what RJ doing a game. RJ's averaging thirty right now in the Olympics, my nigga. We need he, him to average thirty on a Nick. So you trying to say put everybody else and everybody else stop scoring for him to just keep scoring? No, I'm okay, telling. I'm saying. I'm, trying to tell I'm you. saying when the ball the fuck out to the it's point. A system. I can't believe I you being this disrespectful on God real talk damn. with Nick that the host can't even fucking talk and ask you fucking questions. You is asking what the, the question. What the hell is going? Yeah, you don't like the questions I'm throwing at you. No, it ain't you that. think this is going to be an easy? 
Come what, muff? That's not crazy. How you gonna sit there and say that? He gets the shots. He gets the ball. He can't get it no more than what he get it. It's a system. Listen. You, you trying to tell him break the system and make a new system to base the, the system around RJ Barrett. They're not doing that. The Knicks is not doing that. Nobody's doing that for the Knicks. For for RJ. If a player's Canada hot, won't, won't you it. keep feeding the ball? Canada's if a player's hot, will you keep feeding him the rock? They'll sit him down. If he's hot. If he get hot, they sitting him down. I thought they sit he you could down. Go seven with... for seven. He could go seven for seven and they're gonna sit his ass down, bro. This is what you need to understand. If you I thought if... you get sat down when you don't play good. So you bro, get it's the analytics and it's the whole system. Okay. It's a system. He's what? hot. Okay, sit down. You got 14. Sit your ass down. Let, let him go out there now. And we cooking and we losing. Then we then Yeah, fuck up his own momentum now. It so when you sit him down, I sit when he's seven and seven. Now you, you wonder why he's you don't, he's, you don't he's two it, for eighteen. But if you, and if you never noticed it, every team does that, bro. That's just an NBA. That's what y'all don't understand. Like, you got to understand. That's what I'm telling you. It's certain analytics to it, bro. Like, All right, so got, let me break this down. And, and, and you you you're okay. You okay with the front office decision right now? Yes or no? I'm going to run some shit down. The front office decision is just what it is. So you okay right with thing. it? They doing what you want them to do. All right, say no more. Move it right on. I know you okay with Julius Randle being a Nick. You okay with that? Because yeah. of the 25 and 10. Okay. Number three. You okay with RJ Barrett? Yeah. Performance. Yeah. Twenty. The the nineteen and twenty. Nineteen. Nineteen and what? Nineteen and five. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. And he goes to Canada, right? And scores how many points? You say he's had he's a thirty-three. He's averaging thirty. He's averaging thirty. He's he's averaging 30. He's getting the ball. Okay. He's getting now, the ball more. now, all right. When he comes back, all okay. season. Okay. If he don't average 30 points per yeah, game. He ain't going to be able to. Oh, look at that. You ain't got no it's faith in RJ? It ain't about what faith is. It's just the system. The system. He's not going to he, he might. He not gonna be able to average 30. He might just be able to. But you got to understand, now we got a point guard that is the elite point guard in the NBA. The most talked about point guard right now is JV, bro. So that's what you need to understand. So it's running through him. Oh, yeah. It's going to get more opportunities for everybody else to eat. So everybody's going to eat. So they got rid of the fourth wheel, which was toppings. Understand understand what they're trying to do. They See what system they're trying to build, and you'll see it. You see that Villanova core, that three core of Villanova. That's a defensive three. Remember, they won that championship off of defense. So these three guys know defense. I could get these two off the bench, and this one is my starter with my other starters, and I know we're going to be good because now my bench is going to come off and we're going to be hot and crazy. Toppins wasn't with that. He couldn't He couldn't gel with it. He couldn't get with it. The, the way they're they trying to get it right now with switching and doing this and doing that, and then you got to think about what I'm trying to tell you is the way the NBA looking right now is you got players that's not happy on the teams they on, and you got teams on the West Coast that's got power teams while the East Coast not looking like they got a power team. Now you got players that want to come to the East that can't get to the East. You got players that want to leave and go to the West. But you got one player that just sat there and said this summer that all he want to do is win a championship. And that's who? The same, the same person I told y'all a couple weeks back too that the Knicks might be able to get from the 76ers. That's what you're not understanding now. Quickly, he's got to go. Listen to what I'm talking. This is an analytic. This is my analytics of it. Quickly, we we'll have to go. Uh, you want quickly to go, right? No, no. See, what I want quickly to do is stay ball. I told you, I want him to get that max contract that he can be able to get. Make get his money, ball your heart out, get your money, and go where you feel happy. Josh Hart got his money, man. Because Josh Hart, that was part of the agreement when he came to the Knicks. See, what to take a man quickly's fucking bag? It wasn't taking a man quickly's bag. The Knicks had more money to spend. They got the money to give a man. They quickly give a man quickly his money. He did do it because right now we want him to ball. If you're not gonna know, you should want Josh Hart because the ball. If they do it, listen, listen, let's talk about Josh Hart. Not gonna, let's wait, talk wait, about me, Josh Hart. One second. Because they're I, not gonna do that, right? If they sign him now, right? 
they sign him now, right, for whatever money, right? Now, when it comes to a big, good player coming, we ain't going to have no trade ability to trade him because they ain't going to want to take that money that we just gave him. So let's keep him where he's at so that when we put him on the trade, he's really worth the trade. He's really worth the trade. Like, they won't, oh, shit, we won't. I think the 76ers a... will sit there and say, okay, we can take him, him, him. And it might be him, RJ, and somebody else. And, 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 and Mitch Robinson. Or, or, or it would be quickly, Forte, Mitchie Robinson. Three draft picks. That man's coming to the Knicks. This is what I'm trying to show you what the Knicks got leverage on. This is what they're holding on. Even right now with with uh, Andre, with the nigga. So they use it. Nick Aiden, they use it, Emmanuel, nigga, quickly listen, as a with sacrifice. The, with the Aiden. With the Aiden. They even, sacrifice. Even in, even in Phoenix. The Knicks is talking to Phoenix about Aiden now. They trying to send Mitch. Probably RJ and quickly or Mitch Fournier quick Mitch quickly and Fournier with draft picks that's what they're trying to do that's the that's the bulk three that they're going to use with draft picks to get a superstar center in the Knicks and once that happens it's over once we get that it's it's if we could get boy from the 76ers forget about it or well, um what's his name you talking about you um, know what I'm talking about the process bro you know what the, who's the MVP who was the MVP this year? I can't get his name. Um, help me out. <laughs> Who's the MVP? On the 76ers. Yes. If, if Harden leaves, they know they're going to break up that team. So this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that. And that's what everything's basing on when they were saying that he's coming to the Knicks six months, four months ago, they said this. After, after the, they won the thing and Harden said he wanted to trade, you know this. He's been saying... Or you've been hearing him Knicks. He can't he's like up. your boy Julius Randle. He ain't shit in the postseason. Who? Harden. We ain't talking about getting Harden. Though. Who wants Harden? Harden want to go to the Clippers. Let him go to the Clippers. Let him go with the rest of the injured old days. But what I want to ask you, brother, is how hot was your boy Josh Hart, who you pay all that money for against the Miami Heat? He wasn't. He ain't show up either. He ain't show up like that. How you didn't show up? His Tell me how he did. His defense. He's a defensive player, Josh Hart. Like I said, it's the little things you see he did that wasn't in the stat books, bro. It was the Draymond Green shit that he did. He did the Draymond Green shit. It's just that we wasn't. That was that was literally the time when Top is supposed to have shine against Miami, bro. That's the time because Julius got hurt. So that's when he's supposed to been. That's when he's supposed to have shine. He couldn't shine. He could not shine. And that's what made the that, that threw the icing on the cake for the trade. Because they was gonna trade him last year to the to the to the Pacers, if you don't remember. They was talking the Pacers been talking about training for him for, for for a minute already. How long do you how long? And all they wanted was draft picks for him. There's a reason why they only took draft picks for him. What's your expectations for the Knicks this upcoming season? Top three in the East. Top three in the East. Top three in the East. If the Knicks don't go by the past the second round, oh, we getting past the second round. How far are we going? We go to Eastern Conference, this year. and that's a fact. That's a fact. I'm, I'm telling you, that's a fact. And that's what it is, y'all. You that's heard it from G Five. You heard it from me first. On real talk with Nick. Eastern Conference this year. He likes RJ Barrett, Canada performers. Yeah, go watch it too. Go on the tube, y'all. And Nick Valley King. What I'm talking about. It's waiting for that he, he ain't in the, the Apple. Analytics, man. He I'm looking, looking for that shit in the Apple, and we he, out. He ain't looking Peace. for that.